Kaya na naman ang kaya ng kaya ng tao din. Isa si Mati. Yang saya hormati Dr. Charlotin Agisman. Jauh sebagian sukan Industry of Fire Education Indonesia. My friend Profesor Datuk Dr. Fauzi, Deputy Vice Chancellor of UPM, I made a special mention about him because he was the one who initiated and started this program many, many years ago.
I would like to I would like I would like to highlight uh, two points here. Until a few years ago, before we started talking to Dr. Fauzi, many of the events organized by the Ministry of Higher Education were actually staged, is either for IPTS or only for the public universities. But during the last couple of years, there is a move to join many of these programs together with both public as well as the private institutions. I think this positive approach has got to be continued so that uh, the students from both institutions can share each other's experiences. And the world, like the One World Culture, this event was sponsored a joint event by both of us. And since we are working under the same ministry, I see no good reason why students from higher education uh, should be split and divided. As I said, both of us, private as well as uh, public, are governed by the same institution, by the same uh, ministry. For example, yesterday, the NQA on behalf of the Ministry of Higher Education announced its 2011 supply rate. Out of the 35 IPT, that is the uh, higher institutions, that achieved level 5 ratings, which is excellent, because this year nobody got outstanding, uh, probably they become more strict. So out of the 35 institutions that were awarded level 5 rating, 22 of them were from the IPTS, that is the private institutions, and 13 from the uh, public universities. And I'm proud to say here that Nila University is the only IPTS to get level 5 in the southern region. and I think including the two uh, Sabah and Sarawak states, we are the only IPTS that got that level. And I think I'm very proud of it and uh, I'm quite sure that uh, the students from Nilai uh, would be equally proud of it. In our efforts to be an educational hub, we also adopt a very inclusive approach as far as events such as this. We make sure that our foreign students are not left out. We deliberately give them 30% of the places for foreign students so that we can benefit as well as contribute together with the local students uh, uh, in, in this event. After all, uh, isn't the sub theme of this uh, gathering the cultural relations? To merit that title, I think, you must have many cultures and not confined to a single one. So, Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia is indeed very proud and fortunate to be a multi-ethnic and multicultural country. I'm sure it is more difficult to be a leader in a diverse society as compared to a society which is comprised of only one community or one group of people. To be a successful 
must be accepted by a broad section of the various groups in the multi society. To be able to do that, you must show that you can be represent all of them and not confined to only one group. So you must learn, in order to be a leader, to understand and appreciate all the different groups fairly and judiciously. You must be able to mold all these groups into one. But please don't misunderstand. <coughs> Promoting understanding and accepting other cultures should not be done at the expense of losing your own. The richness and wealth of the world is precisely because of the existence of so many different cultures and customs. Knowing and understanding others is to enrich yourself and not to lose your own. Unfortunately, there are some who perceive that knowing and understanding other people's culture is at the expense of losing your own identity. I don't subscribe to that and I don't think anybody can subscribe to that uh, uh, concept at all. In this camp, we are fortunate to have a number of experienced experts to guide you to become an effective leader in a mixed society. To spearhead this training, we have Yama Mabuya Tumwali, a young leader who is well exposed and is prepared to share his ideas and experience with you. To him and to all the other distinguished speakers, we'll be addressing you during the next few days on behalf of the Ministry of Higher Education. Me like firstly, I thank them for your help. I would also like to extend our gratitude to the organizing committee and officials for all their hard work and sacrifice. To all participants, please have an open mind and enjoy yourselves with your newfound friends.